All right, everybody. So what we're going to work on next is uh, an image gallery. Or, well, we're going to prepare for the image gallery. We're going to add a way for us to upload images. But not just upload them like you might be used to using like a form where you click on browse and pull in an image. We're going to do something a little more fancy. We're going to use, uh, we're going to be able to drag and drop images from your computer into the browser and then automatically upload them that way. We're going to do this using a tool called dropzone.js. It's a very, very awesome tool. Now you can download this tool at dropzonejs.com. And when you get there, if you scroll down a little bit, you're going to see this little area that says drop files to upload. This is basically the whole tool right here. You can take an element or like a, like a div or something like that. In this case, I believe it's a a div or a form with a image sitting in there which would be this uh, drop files to upload image and basically this is kind of like your this is your drop zone this box right here so I've taken a couple of pictures of my dogs and we're gonna use them as samples so here in the uh, Windows Explorer I have these images and I'm just gonna drag them to this drop zone and there you go it's as simple as that there's no save or clicking upload or anything like that. It's just automatic. Not only that, but then you can add to it. So if I want to add more, I can grab another picture, drag it in there, and I can keep going. And uh, this doesn't just work on images. You could actually use this for files in general. But in this case, we're going to use it for images. If you scroll back up, you'll see this fork me on GitHub. If I click on that. In fact, I'm going to hold down Control when I click so I can open another tab and this will take us to their GitHub page. And uh, here are all the components. Now we don't need all of this, so I'm gonna walk you through what you need to get. Now let's go to this downloads folder here, click on that. And we're gonna need dropzone.js or you can grab the minified version. Um, if you're not planning on editing this, then the minified version works just fine. Uh, for this example, we're going to go ahead and click on dropzone.js. Now we could download this entire um, package here, but we're just going to take the pieces that we need. So let's click on this. And we're going to go ahead and let's click on the uh, raw button here, which is going to open up another window, which uh, if you have a pop-up blocker on, you might need to disable that. And this is going to allow us to just copy and paste. So let's click on this. And here's the uh, raw version. So if you want to, you can click Control A to select everything, and Control C to copy. Hop over to Aptana, open up our admin folder, then open up the JS folder, and uh, right click on that, choose New, then File. And then we're just going to call this drop zone. JS. And we're going to go ahead and paste, and that's Control V. And uh, go ahead and save that. So we've got that part. Uh, now let's go back here. And uh, I guess this was, I thought this opened up in a new window, but it doesn't. So hit the back button. And up here in the breadcrumbs, click on downloads again. Now let's click on CSS. Then we're going to choose dropzone.css, and let's click on the uh, raw version of this. Select all, control A, then copy, control C. Then uh, over here, we don't have a CSS folder yet, so let's go ahead and right-click on admin, click new folder. We'll call this CSS. Then right-click on that, new file. Call it dropzone.css. Control V for paste. Go ahead and save that. Then back over here to GitHub. Click on the back button. Click on the download folder up here. And then let's click on images. And we're going to want this sprite map.png. So we're going to right click on this and choose save link as. And now make sure that you are navigating into the admin folder of your project. Click on the images folder and click.
quick save. All right, now back to Aptana. And now we just need to include these into our project. So let's open up the config folder, open up css.php. And let's go ahead and add that here. And what we can do is just uh, go ahead and copy one of these links here that we already have and paste it below and we'll just change the comment here. And then change the uh, href property to CSS slash drop zone dot CSS. So that's our CSS. Save that. Then open up js.php. And then let's go ahead and just copy this uh, tiny MCE script here. Paste that below. Change it to JS slash drop zone. And we'll go ahead and comment that. And I'll go ahead and comment the tiny MC one while we're at it. And we'll save that. And now we're ready to use this tool.